Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of the midweek round in Ligue 1, a little bit air divisie. Yeah, I keep up the uh, theme of uh, this playlist. I wear the jersey of the other league that is in the thumbnail. So, well, we consider a lot of Ligue 1. There was one week in the air, uh, one week, <laughs> one game in the air divisie. We're Feyenoord 1 and are actually now in a second spot because of that. But yeah, before we uh, go into all that, um, very briefly, I mean, uh, kind of a summary. It was a really, really weird midweek. I mean, it started out, and I don't want to mention too much of it because I find it a ridiculous reward. But of course, we are talking Liga in France. There's the, Go the Ballon d'Or awards and Messi won his seventh. A probably most contentious uh, word. I don't want to get into every uh, the, the, all the discussions. Who would have deserved it more than Messi? Did he deserve it? Blah, blah, blah. Because I think it's ridiculous. I think instead of a Ballon d'Or, there should be an Ons d'Or, meaning give, you know, make an best 11 of the year. And we've done that. I actually thought about doing a video on uh, 10 players who should have won the Ballon d'Or, uh, but didn't. That actually might be since, uh, something happening, but um, now the Ballon d'Or season is over, I do this another time. However, everything else, yes, everyone's celebrating in Paris, blah, 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 but then the round came and it all didn't go all that well for most of the favorites. Uh, it was really, really, really remarkable. But yeah, I want to very briefly uh, go first to the Eredivisie. As I said, we had a makeup game from round four. There's also one for round two that I thought was happening on the first December. No, it's happening today when, uh, when this is posting, probably, uh, between AZ and I think Sittard. And then they start the new round at the same time. So I really don't like that, but the way it works out. But uh, Feyenoord uh, beat it Heracles with 2-1. Uh, and that means they jump now on to second spot. And I would say that Feyenoord is at the moment establishing himself at the second force in the Netherlands ahead of PSV. But, you know, uh, maybe a bit too early to call it this way, but I've, I found it a quite remarkable result, which... Makes us now move over to Liga. Remarkable results. I mean, almost all favorites lost, with the potential exception of Monaco, who actually had a pretty decent 3 0 win over Angers. Uh, it was already set in the first half with Boadou and Diop scoring two two goals. Then, uh, yeah, Nübel on goal. It was one one of those where the ball hits the up the upright and goes on the back of, and then uh, in. Uh, but then uh, Disa Z in the 73rd puts Monaco well on their way. And, you know, a little bit of a relief. We all are waiting. I mean, all the big teams in France from last season, with the exception of PSG, are really, really struggling. Uh, early on in the season so far. Uh, another one of those is Lyon. I mean, Lyon is not getting anything going. I mean, yes, you have Peter Bosch that is... I think ever since he left Ajax, he has not really done an outstanding job anywhere else. Uh, and while Lyon probably had more of the game and even more chances, especially if you saw the highlights, I mean, there were plenty, plenty, plenty of chances. Uh, it is Ras who scores the goals. I mean, uh, Fez, who actually... Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, Heads it in. Uh, then Toko Kambi gets a little bit later an equalizer. Uh, and then in stoppage time, they uh, even get the winner playing in their nice uh, blue jerseys, which I'm not saying I know they're not very much Rans, but I actually do like them in a way. So uh, a 2 1 win for Rans and uh, another big loss for Lyon, where again. Uh, one wonders if they sh will make it into the Champions League uh, where they think they should belong. However, the league is really, really close overall. So, I mean, anything can happen at this moment. And, you know, uh, it was probably the best round to lose because we already see the last dropping points at Clermont Foot. Marseille is the, is the other big team that did uh, get a win. Where, uh, but it was kind of a workmanlike effort. But deserved over overall over, uh, Gerson after Payet uh, as he scores the uh, for a first goal and shortly after not this goal is reduced to uh, 10 10 men for a completely unnecessary second foul and then Marseille just cannot pile on I gotta say it's probably also my favorite jersey matchup of this midweek uh, the yellow of not with the dark blue of Marseille those two go really 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 well together yeah 
as I said, Marseille are getting it done, PSG not getting it done, and yeah, Ballon d'Or guy Messi, uh, I said the last video on the Liga, yeah, he finds his footing, nah, not so much anymore. Uh, it was kind of a weird, uh, weird performance, yes, PSG was dominant and had chances, uh, namely by Mbappé, and you know, Messi also here and there, but when I look what uh, the two chances that Dolberg had for Nice, Especially the second one, uh, they could very well have won and Donnarumma needed to stretch himself. In the large scheme of things, it probably doesn't really matter because PSG is going to win the title anyway. They are so far ahead. But again, it showed they are a little bit, this PSG team is very poorly put together and not very well coached. And this is an indictment on Pochettino, who definitely wants out. And he has said so uh, as much. And I think they're just waiting for the right moment to uh cattle ends loose in a way and then another surprise result uh champions lille get a pretty big win this time they run out to a two nil win to uh, a and sanchez at ren high flying ren um and uh, they uh only can concede them on late to uh, through burigo and ren's uh climb is kind of stopped i also will, shouldn't mention uh because I, I got this the last um I heard this in the um, early in the early week. Brest keep up their series. They have scored in every single game this season. And there are not too many teams that have done so this year uh, in all of all of years. So Brest, pretty impressive there. Bravo. And I know I should probably get a Brest jersey as well because I've been to Brest at one point in my time. Okay. Uh, I think that is it for me. I think the big uh, matchup in France on, on, on the week should be lost against PSG. I think that will be a rather in, 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 interesting one. And as I said, in the standings now, Marseille uh, through Rennes uh, losing, despite the game, having a game, a game in hand already, Marseille is ahead. So I think Marseille is probably in a good way of establishing themselves in second spot at the moment. But I also said it's very, very tight up top. Lyon is only only you know also a game in hand but it's against my mama but uh behind the third spot is six points that is not i mean it is a distance but it's not too far so yeah that was it from league uh i could do it because league uh, nicely plays the mid on one uh evening and i absolutely love it give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel we'll see more please drop a line below if you want to add anything and i will talk to you soon bye Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell, so in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day!